going on guys so after a six and a half hour road trip I am officially here in Kentucky I'm gonna spend the weekend setting cams and trying to locate some potential bucks to hunt opening day is almost a month almost exactly a month away so we've got a little bit of work to do the good thing is we know exactly where we want to go we just got to make sure the deer are there and then we go from there so Temperatures are supposed to be down just a little bit, so not quite as nasty hot as what they have been, which would be nice. But it's still hot. There's no joke, no joke. So stay tuned and see if we can find some good stuff this weekend. Exactly what I'm looking for here. I'm on the most evident trail that I've found all day. There's a this trail. What it does, it connects a main bedding area and a soybean field. So the soybean field's that way, bedding area's that way. What this trail does is it hops this point. There's a little mound right here in the ridge, and it goes down to this point. And this trail, there's multiple trails converging in on this point, and it just hops across this point, heading to and from the primary bedding and that food source. So I haven't looked on that edge of that field yet for tracks. I, there's some other fields on on top back here that I wanted to check out before I went and did that, but the primary bedding that I was going to is right back there so whether it's the fields I wanted or those fields it doesn't matter I just gotta figure out where the deer are coming from which routes they're using to and from that primary bedding and that field so this is probably one of my favorite bedding areas it's cool it's down here in the bottoms there's a ton of browse it's easy for them to walk through but yet there's a bunch of cover bunch of cover and for the most part it's hard to hunt because of that but this point opens up just a little bit for me with some mature trees so I can actually set up here on this point and put a hunt so this is most definitely going to be a big camera location for me I'm going to go ahead and get this camera set up and get out of here. And then go check that, that field edge and see what the, what the tracks look like. The ground's pretty hard right now, so it's really hard to find tracks. But I'm also looking for fresh poop. So let's get this camera set up and get on out of here. So right as I tell you guys I like this spot, I turn around there's a deer. It's a good sign. Now let's get on out of here and let that covert tell me what's going on. So, speaking of the devil, there's another deer. See if I can get it.
canoe one way or a half mile portage and then like a mile a little bit over a mile worth of a paddle so I will take this oh well hey you gotta do what you gotta do right access is one of the most important things we can figure out in this particular spot I'm going to if we walk to it we'd spook everything out of that spot before we even got a chance to hunt it Show you guys a recipe that if you want to kill a big deer this is what you look for especially during early season but it doesn't really ma matter when it's just whenever this fruit ripens so during spring we located this persimmon grove and I wanted to come back and check and see if they're producing well they're growing so there's a bunch of little green fruit up top so they're not ripe which means they're not grow they're not dropping yet but they're big enough that they'll be dropping come opening weekend which is in a month so let me show you guys what i'm looking for okay so this this tree right here you see the bark on that tree real scaly it looks like an alligator and also the tree itself is tall and lanky okay there's really no no limbs until you get up top okay now let me show you what I'm what I'm finding see if I can find them here in my camera right there See if I can focus here. Come on, baby. There we go. You see those? That right there, those are persimmons. So, what that means is that I'm putting a camera here as planned. The deer are obviously using it. I've got a lot of movement on the field edge. It's a young soybean field, so they're not very tall yet. It looks like it was planted late. But there's obvious movement and fresh movement. And there's deer poop spread throughout these ridges. And coming off of here, it comes down to a point going back into the woods. So this right here is a fantastic staging area that if you were hunting the field edge, your buck more than likely is right here feeding on these persimmons before he goes out into the field and you may not even see him because he's still in here in the tree line so we've got active movement main food source we find the main trails coming in and we're using this inside corner we're using the terrain features to locate the main trails 
the deer movement always congregate on the on those some sort of pinch point so the inside corner right happens every time and the thing is that inside corner funnels to a point right here going back into the into the ridges perfect for bedding and just inside the tree line we've got producing persimmon trees soft mast that these deer are going to hang up on and browse on if they don't want to go into that field during daylight that's exciting so it's exactly what I came here to look for that's perfect you got both a ripened persimmon the purple and an unripe persimmon the green walked up a big eight point about 70 yards from the field edge and <laughs> about 50 yards from where I was heading to set a trail camera on a, on a spot that I know has some converging trails so it's a good sign I'd say that corner also has some big tracks all all along that corner there so it's a good chance it's him but I do know there's more than one buck that uses that so I'm also heading to another spot that's at another corner a little further down that's coming up from the bottoms that I know that some deer are bedding out of feeding into this bean field so I'm gonna go there next set a camera and head back to the canoe don't have a lot left actually these after after today these are the two main areas that we were interested in so that's good I like being as efficient as possible especially when it's hot like this so I got about a quarter mile walk Let's get going Well, that's it for this trip wrapped up spot number three last night and then heading home today I didn't run my camera a whole lot on my third location yesterday I was trying to stay real quiet and slow but I got some huge tracks located and while I was at it I got eyes on a possible shooter he was up in the cornfield I heard him pulling cobs off the stock while I was down setting cameras so I got super ninja and got out of there before he <laughs> he heard me so three cameras set in that location also covered a lot of ground I got three separate locations set up and eyes on just figure we let those cameras soak this month and see what we've got we learned a long time ago not to put all of our chips in a one bag so we've got three locations and I got eyes on two possible shooters in two of those so two possible shooters two separate locations already eyes on and so we'll see what those cameras show over this next month we're pretty excited so thanks for watching if you like the video please hit the like and subscribe button that helps us grow the channel stay tuned see you on the next video